Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us try to understand the same example. Now because we now we know what is positively charged, what is negatively charged. So now let us make use of this concept and understand the same example. So you take a balloon, you rub the balloon on your hair. Now when you rub the balloon on your hair, what happens? Flow of electrons take place because electrons are mobile. So there are electrons present on in your hair. There are electrons present in the balloon. So electrons flow and electrons flow from hair to balloon so from your hair electrons tend to flow into the balloon so what will happen your hair is losing electrons so what is happening to your hair the hair is becoming positively charged and the balloon is gaining electrons therefore what will happen to the balloon as it is getting rubbed the balloon is gaining a net negative charged so once it is rubbed, so now this balloon has a net negative charge, right? So the balloon has a negative charge. Now when you take this balloon near a wall or near some other object, there are chances that it will experience force. So this balloon is negatively charged, that is sure. Now you bring another balloon. So this pink balloon is a different balloon altogether. Now you rub this balloon also on your hair. Now what happens? Again, the similar thing happens. Now you bring this balloon near the first balloon. So now both of these balloon have similar charges, right? So now this balloon also has negative charge. Now when you try to bring this balloon closer to this balloon, what happens? You will see that the balloons tend to go away from each other. The balloons, they repel each other. They tend to go away from, they do not want to come near each other. So that is another interesting observation. So this proves that like charges tend to repel each other. So similar charges. So both the balloons had negative charges. So negative, negative, they will always try to go away from each other. Now you repeat the same experiment in a little different way. Now what you do, you take a balloon, you rub it on your hair. So what happens to the balloon? the balloon acquires negative charge. Now you bring this balloon near the wall and what happens? The balloon sticks to the wall. So the balloon is sticking to the wall. Why? Because the wall in this case is not negatively charged. The balloon is negatively charged. But what about the wall? The wall as a whole is neutral. The wall is not charged. But when the balloon is brought near the wall, so balloon is a charged object and the wall is an uncharged object which doesn't carry any charge. So what happens? There is attraction between the balloon and the wall. So from this observation, we can say that a charged object always tends to attract an uncharged object. Now why it attracts an uncharged object? We will see that a little later. So that, that was the next observation. Now similarly, if you take this same balloon in front of small bits of paper because your balloon is negatively charged even now. So this negatively charged balloon when it is taken near the small bits of paper, the paper starts jumping because again papers are neutral, they are not charged. So whenever a charged object is taken in front of an uncharged object, there is some sort of attraction. So basically the conclusion was that like charges repel each other. So when we say like charges, that means negative negative charges will repel each other similarly positive positive charges will also repel each other because these are similar charges so similar charges will always go away from each other whereas unlike charges will attract each other that means if there is a positive and a negative they will tend to attract each other so opposite charges will always attract each other now the question is what will happen if there is one charge which can be either positive or negative and the other object is neutral. So if there is a positively charged object and a neutral object which doesn't have any charge. So in that case also there will be attraction. Similarly if there is a negatively charged object and a neutral object then in that case also there will be attraction. So now the question is how exactly this attraction is happening? How this exactly the attraction or the repulsion takes place? 
So now we will look at the same example once again and we will try to understand that how exactly a positively or a negatively charged body attracts an uncharged body. So we will take the same examples once again. So let us take the examples of the paper bits. So these paper bits were all neutral, right? But what about the balloon? The balloon was negatively charged. Now, as we saw that negatively charged, negative charges will attract which type of charges? It will attract positive charges. So what happens is all these neutral paper bits, they have both positive and negative charges inside them. Now, since this side, they have the balloon has negative charge. So all the positive charges tend to come this side and all the electrons, they actually move this side. So on this side, we are left with only the positive charges and as a result, they tend to get attracted towards the balloon. In a very similar way, in case of the wall also, the wall was as such neutral. So this wall, when you consider the wall was neutral, but when this negatively charged balloon was brought near the wall, all the electrons which are present in the wall, they tend to move away from the negatively charged balloon. So whatever was left towards the balloon were all positive charges. So as a result, attraction happened. So this is how the attraction between an uncharged body and a charged object takes place. So let us suppose, I'll give you another example. Let us suppose this is one object which is positively charged. When this object is brought near a neutral object, so now this neutral object will have both positive and negative charges inside. But since this object is positively charged, so all the negative charges will tend to come towards this side. And as a result, they both will attract. Similarly, if this object is negatively charged object then what will happen if this is neutral all the negative charges will tend to go away from this particular object so this side you will be left with positive charges so as a result they will attract similarly if this negatively charged object is brought near an object which is negatively charged so what will happen repulsion so they will move away from each other but if the negatively charged object is brought near an object which is positively charged, then there will be attraction. So overall, what did we learn? We learned that if positive positive are brought together, then they will repel. If negative negative are brought together, they will also repel. If positive negative brought together, they will attract. If positive neutral is brought together they will also attract if negative and neutral are brought together they will also attract right so this is what we understood about electric charges so far what is electric charge a force experienced in near another electrically charged object two types of charges positive and negative like charges repel and unlike charges attract thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.